Hello and welcome to a new video on Star Wars Old Republic. In this video I'm going to be going over some of the common mistakes that I see people make when it comes to gearing their characters, and we're going to be talking about a few of the things you need to be aware of when selecting the right gear for your character, and also deciding on what stats you need to be applying to your character. Let's start taking a look at some random players on fleet and see what some people are doing. So the first player I pick up here, it looks like they are set as a healer, they've got a healer offhand, tactical that I'm not used to seeing. If we look at their stats, they have no accuracy and then they've got a lot of critical and alacrity. So this player is doing their gearing pretty good overall. They managed to farm everything up to 330 item rating, and importantly, everything has an augment. You can get away with the 276 blue augments if you don't have the money to afford the 286 purple augments, and it's not worth skimping out on any augments to get gold ones. Make sure that you at least be able to fill every single slot with a purple before you start getting any golds. Let's take a look at a second player who's wearing a much lower item rating to see what they've done. This is very odd, they're using all low-level Rakata gear. I really don't suggest doing this. Sure, purple gear is better than blue gear, which is better than green gear, but the upgrade cost of upgrading this is just brutal, right? So if you want to get this gear item rating up higher than 320, this is the most expensive route to do it. I really don't suggest going this way. On top of that, not having augments in their gear, it kind of seems weird that they've taken the time and effort to farm the purple Rakata gear. This gearing is a good example of somebody who's picked a very inefficient and very expensive path to get better stats with their gear. So this player does have a gold augment, but everything else is purple augmented. So that's great. It's way better to see if anyone has gold augments, they should have augments in every slot. When I see players who only have a few gold augments, maybe three or four, and they're missing augments in other slots, that's a huge missed opportunity. So a gold augment is not going to give you enough boost over a purple to make up for having an empty slot. This person almost has the right amount of accuracy, and when I look at their buffs here, they do have the stim on that provides an additional accuracy boost. So for whatever reason, they're still short on accuracy. As you can see, 109.25%. Yeah, it really sucks for them that they're just missing it by that little bit. And then if we look at our alacrity, they're at 10.68%. It's definitely a class that doesn't benefit from having 10.5% alacrity. So yeah, overall this person, they've got almost all of the gear up to Ricotta that's 326 and higher, and they've got augments and everything. So really the only thing this person needs to shore up at this point, take away some of that alacrity, some of those points into crit, as well as throwing them into that missing accuracy. So here's another player on fleet who has PvP Thrizian gear. So they've managed to get all of their Thrizian gear up. So this makes me think maybe this actually is a PvP player who's gearing for PvP. When we look at their accuracy here, you can see they're very short of that 110%, but they're sitting at about 105%. So I think, okay, probably this person is geared up for PvP and not PvE. They do have augments in all their slot, which is great. The alacrity though, this one triggers me a little bit and I think, I'm not sure what's going on. 6%. So they seem to have screwed up something with their alacrity threshold here. Otherwise, their gear looks fine. It's just the stat distribution that looks like it could use some work. All right, so here's a player who's managed to get themselves to item rating 326 through Noble Decurion. So they've gone through the conquest path to upgrade all of their gear. Now, with this kind of gear without augments, there's no way you're going to hit your stat thresholds. It's just not possible. So there's really not too much advice we can give this person other than looking into augments or starting to go into content where they can get gear drops that are going to be better for them. So we've got a few options at this point. First of all, you can just augment your gear, get all of your stat thresholds looking about where you want to be, or you can start going into the easiest of the veteran mode operations to be able to trade out your green gear for blue gear and then augment that. Or you can go for some of the easiest mass mode flashpoints that wouldn't require you having augments in your gear. Now you might think that you want to keep everything toggled because that's the only way you can achieve the weekly, which will give you a gear upgrade crate. You're already at 326. You're going to get way more advantage by just completing these as fast as you can to have a highest chance of converting all of your green gear into blue gear. And here we find a player who has very mixed gear, right? And we look at this and we think this is not a great way to be mixing your gear. So we have Elite Gear, which is coming from Veteran Mode Flashpoints, as well as we had Thrizian Gear on there, and we had Noble Gear, and it's a big mixture of everything. I really don't suggest doing this. So in general, you never want to be wearing Flashpoint Gear for the purpose of upgrading it at the vendor to a higher item rating. The other thing was they had a mixture of PvP gear. I don't mind mixing and matching the PvP gear if you like doing Unranked or doing Galactic Starfighter. The reason for this is the weekly quest that comes along with it, it gives you a crate which gives you a guaranteed item rating upgrade to one of your weakest pieces of gear, as well as it will give you enough materials to be able to upgrade your PvP gear by another item rating. So it's a very time efficient, material efficient way to upgrade your gear. 
All right, so we've given you a lot of examples of different ways that people are gearing up and some of the things that are good about them and some of the things that are bad. So let's look at a recap of how we want to think about this, starting kind of from the process of being a low level gear to a higher level gear. So at level 80, when you have 200 medals of accommodations, go and buy your 320 gear from the vendor that I'm standing in front of. So if we open up our map on fleet, you'll see I'm in the supply section in this room in this corner. On Imperial fleet, it'll be at the top of the map in this room in this corner. Even if you plan to PVP and upgrade your gear through PVP, just get the 320 gear right away through the Conquest vendor. The other cardinal sin is don't ever spend currency upgrading your elite decurion gear from Flashpoint. So this is the green Flashpoint gear. It's just not worth spending any currency upgrading at all. When we talk about getting our item rating up higher, we always want to be using green Conquest gear or PvP gear as we upgrade our item rating to 324 and potentially even 326. You can use the PvP Thrizian Requisition Crates at any point to convert your 320 plus Conquest gear to PvP gear and then spend your currency upgrading it at the vendor. This is why we buy 320 Conquest gear initially and we don't worry if we're planning to do PvP. Another little tip when it comes to the crates, if you happen to complete some of the weekly Master Mode Flashpoint or Veteran Operations and you get yourself a Supreme or Columbi Requisition Cache, just save these and don't open them up until item rating 324 as you really don't want to be spending currency upgrading blue items. If you are going to drop yourself in the queue for Mass Mode Flashpoint or you're going to group up to do Veteran Mode Operations and you aren't wearing augments, Make sure that you're only going with stuff that's at appropriate difficulty level for the fact that you're going to absolutely suck without having augments in. So when we think about doing operations, if you're going to do Eternity Vault and Karagas Palace, you're probably going to be okay. Anything else, I wouldn't really suggest it as you're probably going to cause your team to have to carry you exceptionally hard and chances are they'll get frustrated and remove you from the group and you won't get the weekly anyways. If you are going to be going into Master Mode Flashpoints, what I would suggest doing is don't worry about getting the weekly. You're better off just completing and killing bosses when you're at item rating 326. The easiest flash points by far are going to be at this and Katamimu. Hammer Station is also going to be pretty high on that list. So this will give you a fair bit of variety. And if you're just looking for the absolute easiest ones, you can just go do Katamimu or you can roll it with a Hammer Station as well. The important thing to note though is that when you're going to these mass mode flashpoints, if you're not augmented and you're not at 326 yet, there's not any real benefit for you doing them. Augments, I've been kind of mentioning that a little bit. Once you have augments, focus on getting one for every slot. So the important thing to look at is the lowest rating for your augments being 276. These are augment 73s. You can definitely go with the 286s or the augment 74s for a bigger stat boost. And if you can afford it, you can get those 300 gold augments. The gold augments, so do not make the mistake of buying a few gold augments if it means you're going to have empty slots in your augments. So, now that we're at the point where you're going to actually have augments in your gear, you can start thinking about hitting your stat thresholds correctly. They're going to be exceptionally hard, if not impossible to hit, if you are not putting augments in your gear. It'll limit what content you can play. If you're going to be on a damage dealing class, the first thing that you want to look at every single time is hitting your accuracy threshold. You want to get 2700 accuracy. The best thing you can do is scroll down to where it shows you accuracy further down and you want to check that this number is 110% for PvE. The second threshold we want to look at is getting our alacrity to about 2200 points. This is going to equate to about 7.5% or you can get it all the way up to 8%. The rest of your stats are going to be dumped into critical. As a healer class, what are we going to want to look at for stats? Well, we don't need any accuracy. So the first thing we want to do is get our alacrity to the point where you've hit our 7.5% or higher. You're going to dump the rest of your points into crit. When it comes to playing on a tank class, generally it's a lot easier. We do not need to worry about accuracy, alacrity, or critical at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to look for is getting your shield to around 4,000. If we scroll further down to shield chance, we want to be seeing 40% before we start thinking about putting points into shield absorption. The other thing that's in main tanking stat is defense. It doesn't matter, you're going to get a lot from your gear. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the basics of how to gear up efficiently and how to get your gear upgraded to the right stats and not make mistakes. I'm going to leave you with a couple additional tips as a lot of people have been farming Dashrood and Nefra to be able to get Ricotta pieces dropped for them. There's two ways that you can go about farming the gear, one of them a lot less efficient than the other. So the first method is you could just get Ricotta gear at 320. If all of your pieces are 320 or higher and one piece is less than 320, you can control that that's the piece you get, but it's going to be very expensive to upgrade them from this point. So the best thing to do is to get all of your gear to 326, go in multiple times and let it randomly drop you pieces. Once you've got the majority of your pieces dropped as 326 and you've only got about four or five pieces left, then you can choose to put on that piece of gear one at a time 
as an item rating 318 or lower so that the boss guarantees drops you that piece. Hopefully this gives you guys some better ideas of how you should be progressing to get to 326 gear if you're still working on that. And I really hope it gives you some great ideas of where your gear should be at in terms of stat allocations, using augments, etc. Depending on the type of content that you're trying to tackle. As always, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.